Welcome to the Zoom TV Telethon Celebrity Hitchhiker, powered by Orbital Autogas. You're just in time to help me hunt down our next celebrity. Wait up, I think we've just found her. Yes, we have. Good afternoon, Miss Natalia Cooper. Hello, how are you going? Welcome to the back of the eye load. How Thank are you, you, Natalia? Very well. Very glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Strange setting for an interview, <laughs> mind you. Now, I've got to ask you a few questions. You do present the weather. Yes, yes. You're a pretty face, but you also know all about the weather. Well, yeah, I've been doing the weather for about eight years now. So before I started, I had a, a bit of training in at the Bureau. They sort of taught me about the different uh, weather patterns that we have here in Perth. And yeah, I've learnt quite a lot over the last eight years. But, I, you know, I'm not a meteorologist. They, they are the experts, but I, I do know, I guess, what I'm talking about. I know my stuff. So tell me how it all started. How did you get to where you are today? Uh, I studied journalism at uni, at Curtin Uni, and from then on just did a lot of work experience, so was able to get out there and actually started working at, at Channel 9 as a cadet reporter and then into the weather and more reporting and reading and uh, went overseas for a while and then ended up at 7 about two years ago. Replacing the big man, Big Jeff. Jeff Newman, yes, yes. Uh, he retired and I, I sort of came in and took over, but yeah, big shoes to fill, but it's been two years now so it's been great I've really settled in and everyone's everyone's lovely it's a great place to work you don't just start at six o'clock when the news is on you're, you're at work pretty early yeah we've got a lot to to do during the day I read news updates during the day as well so have to produce them and read the news updates I've got weather to prepare scripts and, and graphics uh, and also if I'm working on a story I do some special reports as well head out and visit some schools uh, host functions it really can depend you know each day is quite different and uh, it really depends on what's happening with the news as well, if there's a big story. Now, it's time for the fast five questions. Are you ready for that? Oh, gosh, I'm a little bit nervous, but the, we'll see how we go. Orbital, <laughs> auto gas, fast five questions. Okay. okay. What was your first car? My first car was actually a VN Commodore station wagon, so... Oof. Yeah. Country girl? Country girl. <laughs> Not a country girl, I know. I sound like a bit of a Logan, don't I? Super mum. Super mum, mate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and at one point the bumper was falling off and I actually caused the death of that car. I won't say what I did, but uh, there was some engine trouble, let's say. Okay. Yeah, and then I realised that there were certain things you had to do to take care of a like car. Like, don't put diesel so. in a pet. Yeah. <laughs> Second question, what is the worst car, in your opinion, on the streets today? Oh, look, you know, we have to think about the environment and being environmentally friendly. So, unfortunately, some of the cars that are the real gas guzzlers, perhaps, uh, maybe not. The Big best out there. And all yeah, that. that kind of thing. Uh, and it, when the cars are really loud <laughs> as well. <laughs> I know that'll probably upset a few viewers. I don't, I don't when they like come the, past your house, you're like, oh, what was that? I don't know the guys with the big boomers, you know, as you the drive. <laughs> Maybe past. loud music. Exactly. Music that you don't like. Yeah, hate loud, loud noises. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your opinion of the best cars on the streets? <gasps> Oh, best cars. Well, I mean, you know, the Prius or anything that is a bit more environmentally friendly is great, but, you know, the cars that are nice to look at, definitely. Uh, Ferraris. Yeah, Ferraris. Addies. How about that? Yeah, Addies. yeah, yeah. And uh, when you see them driving along, it definitely turns your head. You think, oh, that's a nice car. And I like the older cars that are done up. And what do you drive now? Uh, well, you know, you get around in the Channel 7 helicopter. Ah. That's, you know, go in style. <laughs> I've definitely. heard rumours, actually. <laughs> Talia's running back in a hair appointment. We've got to get her in. Is that true? Oh, no, no. say false. <laughs> okay, and the final question, what scares you the most? Oh, look, I'm scared of sharks, I have to say. I know that the chances of me running into one are not very high, but they are just frightening to look at. I, I like watching documentaries, and when you see them, I just think, oh, my gosh. I hate sharks I in this one river. I would hate to come face-to-face face with you. <laughs> with, why well, I hate oh, with sharks? With sharks. Oh, I think with, sharks. with me. You are? Oh, you're confronting that fear. Anyway, we're done, so... I'm going to let you go back to the weather. Thank you, yes. Better get going. Otherwise, people won't... Oh, you could stay, but... People will have no awkward. idea what's happening. Could get so, awkward. Yeah. Could get awkward. <laughs> anyway, that's our show. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to know anything about today's show, go to the website, zoomtv.com.au. I'll be back here on 7, mate, next week. And trust me, I've got a very big celebrity hitchhiker. And don't forget, if you'd like to know more about the show, download our free iPhone app from iTunes. Until next week, thanks for watching. Bye for now.